Hello all my chickadees! Welcome back to the nest! I am Fael Sparrow and today we're going to be checking out Pocket Lover. Now this looks like a cute innocent game, right? Right? <laughs> From what I gather this is a romance horror game. So <laughs> that is right up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna jump on in. I mean, this guy's already cutie. Look at that. That that makes me think of sea salt ice cream from uh, like Kingdom Hearts. I'm, I want one now. Oh my god! Wait. <laughs> Look at this. You go start, load, pref. You go to quit, and it says don't leave me. <laughs> I love this already. Okay. This game will include the following in the full release if there is one. Body horror, murder, gore, dismemberment, self-harm, emotional manipulation, threats, graphic descri dis descriptions, images of rotting meat and corpses, flashes, distorted faces and voices, and slight triphobia, uh, which is like holes. Please remember, this game is not for those who feel easily disturbed or those who have a hard time telling reality from fiction. Remember, it's fun and game, but real relationships should never be like this. Exactly. So there's your warning, guys. If anything like that bothers you, uh, feel free to click away. I want all my chickadees nice and safe. And let's jump in. What is your name? It is Sparrow. Thank you for playing. relationships have never worked out for me. There would always be something that I did, something that I said, just something would do to mess it up. I had no idea what to change about myself in order to make someone stay with me. After a while, I kind of just gave up to spare myself the disappointment. Not that I mind that much anymore. Ugh. I wake to a notification on my phone. God, it's so bright out today. Time to say good morning. Pocket lover, Niall misses you. Why not open the app? Have a very good day. <laughs> oh. Even with all the bad luck and relationships, there's still an alternative for someone like me. Good morning, Sparrow. Outfits, memory files, character locked, Niall dates. Oh, cool! It's like a little dating app. Nice. <laughs> okay, let me turn that down a little bit there. Okay, I've just turned it down a little bit so we can still hear okay. How are you today? Oh, I need to pick out a good voice for him. How are you today? doing great now, now that I'm looking at your face. You're so sweet. But Sparrow, your longings are becoming more inconsistent. Oh, we're making him sad. Is there anything in the game that's bothering you? No, everything's perfectly fine. Work just has me tied up recently. Hmm. I don't get why you need that stupid job. I asked myself that too, but alas, I need money to survive. But I have a day off today, so you'll have all my attention. Look how happy he is! <laughs> really? The whole day? Yes, the whole day. Not like I have anything else to do. I promise I'll make this day entertaining for you. This is this is my not this is Niall, my AI boyfriend. Otherwise known as my newest low. I was scrolling through the app store a year back after one particularly depressing mood swing and stumbled upon the game. Pocket Lover Niall update. There's no way I'm going to download this, is what I initially thought. But as I scrolled through the endless good reviews, I ended up downloading it. I mean, it was only $3, and it's not like anyone was going to see me playing my sad display of loneliness. Plus, I grew a dependency on Niall for the comfort the moment he said... How was your day, Sparrow? And now I have a blue-haired pretty boy on my phone. Um, Sparrow, you haven't said anything for a while now. Everything okay? Oh, sorry, I spaced out. It's alright. 
So, what should we talk about? I rack my brain, trying to think of more topics for Niall and I to talk about. I've been playing this game for almost a year now. The block of code know basically everything about me. I bet none of my questions surprise him. I need to keep this interesting in order to get my likability up. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, is there a save? Yay, there's a save. Okay. Now, do you ever have thoughts? Now, have you ever wanted something? Now, what do you like about me? Hmm. Have you ever wanted something? Huh? Of course I have. Like, I often want to talk with you. Or be with you physically. I've never not wanted that. Aw, Niall, you say the cutest things. Hey, don't call it cute. I really feel this way. I smiled to myself. I wonder how life would be like if Niall was real. How would Niall even look if he was a real person? <laughs> Probably super cute. It'd be kind of fun if you were real, now that I think about it. Oh, he's blushing. Y yeah, I if I was real, just imagine all the stuff we oh we could do. We could finally go on a real date. Huh? Max likeability. Congratulations! You reached max likeability. Holy shit! I did it! Sparrow, you maxed out my likeability score! Finally, after months of playing this game, I reached the highest likeability you can get. Sparrow, you know what this means, right? I have no life. <laughs> no, it means that you're truly devoted to me. You spent months just talking to me. Doesn't it feel like we're together for real now? I choked on a laugh. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, I love you so much, Sparrow. Aww. Thank you. You're so cute, Niall. Let's say I love you, too. Niall looked at me, and for a brief moment it felt as if he was real. You, you can't take it back, okay? Okay. I felt at ease and slowly drift off into slumber. Niall and I... I... Niall and I's conversation is still fresh in my mind. Everything feels calm. Okay, okay, fine, I'll get up. I got out of bed, picking up my phone off my face. Did I really talk to Niall the whole night? I really need to stop sleeping with my phone. Yeah. If you lay over on your phone, it can, like, get it to overheat. Yeah, so please don't sleep with your phone, people. <laughs> I'll look over at my clock. 7.30? Crap, I'm gonna be late. I quickly get on my clothes and head off to work. Sorry I'm late. I burst through the doors. Ten minutes late. Crap, at this rate I'll be fired. Late again. That's twice, Sparrow. Sorry, sir. I swear it won't happen again. Throughout the day, I tried my best to be the greatest possible worker. Making sure my boss saw me doing all my tasks with purple at perfect... Perfect execution. Hearing the end of my shift, I felt emotionally and physically drained. Just then, another person walked in. Great. I tiredly got a menu in order to serve the guy. The guy. But instead, I was greeted with a familiar face. Liam. Rough day. Liam! This is Liam, my one and only friend. <laughs> We've been hanging out together since he became a regular at the coffee shop. What started as just light banter turned into a casual friendship. You look tired, Sparrow. You okay? Yeah, we are tired. <laughs> we are quite tired, buddy, so... <laughs> I looked around to make sure my boss wasn't nearby. Yeah, work, work is just being a pain in the ass. I'm in hot water because I was late. Again. Don't worry. I don't think this place has enough staff to let you go. Plus, you're a good worker. Thanks. But I'm pretty sure me being late doesn't count as good work worker material, unfortunately. I looked at Liam's shirt. New sticker? Yeah. One of the kids gave it to me. You could say it's stupid. I don't know who the character is. I'm just gonna say it's cute. 
I know, right? I love this character. Anyway, um, what can I get for you? Right. Sorry, forgot. I'll have a latte. You got it. I gave Liam his latte. Liam stared at it, crimson covering his face. Um, Sparrow? What's up? Can I ask you a weird question? Define weird. Like, a personal question. I raised my eyebrow. Liam is not the type to talk about personal stuff with me, at least. Sure, what would you like to know? Do, do, do you maybe have a partner? Oh, he likes us. <laughs> no, I, I thought I told you that. I, I, I just wanted to check. So, can I ask you another question? Is this going where I think it is? Sure. Okay, so no pressure at all. But if you're free tomorrow, would you like to have dinner with me? Well, I love hanging out with you, and I love free food, so sure. Uh, I meant, like, as a date. <laughs> we thought we had no love life besides our AI boyfriend, but now we're being asked out by one of our close friends. <laughs> God, I kind of knew it was coming, but it's still weird to hear. No pressure, again, if you don't want to. Wow, it's been a while since I've been on a date. Am I even ready? If we say yes, our AI boyfriend's gonna get jealous. We'll say no. Sorry. I, I just don't really feel ready. Oh, 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 that's okay. I'm sorry, Liam. I hope I didn't make you feel uncomfortable. No, no, it just caught me off guard is all. I scratched my wrist a bit, feeling awkward. My lunch break is all my lunch break is almost over. I, I should go. Have a good day, Sparrow. See you later. Liam gave me a smile as he left. Forgot my coffee. Bye! <laughs> that was interesting. As I finished the last of my work, all I could do was think about Liam. Ugh, my back hurts from cleaning tables all day. Probably him. Now misses you. Why not open the app? Hello, Sparrow. Welcome back. How was work? Oh, we got new outfits and we got new dates available. Hmm. It was okay. You look upset. Did something happen? My friend Liam asked me out. Oh, you see that? He was mad. I said no. I'm not ready. Uh, oh. Sometimes I wish you were real, Niall. Dating you would be easy. Oh, Sparrow. I wish I was there for you. Nala and I talked like we normally do. But my mind felt distant. He was mad. <laughs> what if I'm never ready for a real relationship? Will Nal be the only relationship I could get? Will I really never find anyone? You will, Sparrow. I promise. I'll make sure you'll never lonely again. New day. My phone is still in my hand. Guess I never really turned it off. Um. Niall? Niall? What the? I tap my screen. Niall? You, you there, buddy? Okay, maybe I should exit out of the app. What the fuck? I guess there's a bug in the system. Damn, that's gotta be the worst timing. 7 o'clock a.m. Might as well go to work early. I get out, get on my clothes and head off to work. I walk in to see my boss in utter shock. Oh, Sparrow, you're early today. Yeah, I thought it was better than being late. Well, good, I'm glad you're taking the job more seriously. As serious as a heart attack. I do my work as usual. Liam didn't show up. I hope he isn't upset about yesterday. Good work today, Sparrow. Hey, uh, is your boyfriend here today? You mean Liam? 
He's not my boyfriend, but no. Well, he left his wallet here yesterday. Oh, no. Could you give it back to him? My boss handed me his wallet. Sure, no problem. Fuck, I didn't, really didn't want to see Liam right now. I finished the rest of my work as slow as possible. Guess I should leave. I used his card to get his address and walked over to Liam's apartment. I knocked on the door, secretly hoping no one was home. Huh? The door opened. Um. Uh. I slowly opened the door. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no, he dead! <laughs> Look at that! He, he's been disemboweled, scratched, like, whoa, holy crap, and he's got nosebleed and bleeding from his mouth, holy crap, holy shit, holy, Liam! Liam was sitting on the floor and I could hear the faint sound of breathing. Oh, he's still alive? His body was beaten and bloody, faint marks on his neck signaled that he was choked. What about his organs in the floor? Wounds that covered his arms and chest were stitched up with loose thread. But the most horrific part of all was that his stomach was outside of, it, of his body covered in blue. His body smelt like latex and bleach. My muscles clenched. I tried to contain the urge to hurl. I quickly pulled out my phone and called 911. Sparrow. Help me. It stings. Did he try to stitch himself up? I couldn't tell if it was my eyes playing tricks on me. There's no way Liam could be alive right now. Answer me, please, Sparrow. I need to hear your voice. Please. Liam whimpered and begged. I wanted to say something, anything to him, but the words just came out as wheezes. I can still hear the ambulance sirens. Police said whoever did this to him tried to stuff and stitch. Tried to stuff and stitch in formaldehyde is his, in his wounds as some twisted way of preserving him. Oh, the most shocking thing about all this is that Liam is still alive. They're not sure how long he'll be like that though. Who would do such a thing? I have a little idea. Fear and anger were the only things I could feel. There was no way I could sleep. My body was still shaking from the incident. 3 a.m. I should just tr stop trying. Sounds like it's raining. I could hear the faint sound of rain coming from outside. Yep. Huh? Someone's at the door. Let's see who's at the door. Oh, I'm so glad you opened the door. I don't know what I would have done if you didn't. Niall? Niall, how did you escape the phone? Did you kill Liam? Or try to kill Liam? It's so cold out here. Do you mind if I stay? tall man stood near my door, holding it open with a strange amount of strength. He pried the door open a little more. N Niall? I must really be going insane. Yeah. Sparrow, can, we can you let go of the door? I don't want to hurt you to get it open. There's only three options on why this is happening. One, a strange cosplayer has showed up at my house to either kill me or steal my anime merch. <laughs> Two, I've gone completely insane at, from what happened earlier today, which led me to hallucinating Niall. Or Niall is real now. Are you really Niall? Yeah. Are you really not going to open the door? Oh. Okay, okay. Let's open the door. I wasn't really sure if this was the right thing to do. But boy, that guy looks like Niall and I don't think I'm hallucinating. Sparrow. Thank you for letting me in. As Niall stepped inside, a piercing pain throbbed inside my head. It was unbearable. Sparrow? Sparrow, you look 
bile rose up into my throat as hot acidity, li acidity liquid started to spill out of my mouth. Holy crap! What is that stuff? My body shivered as everything around me turned silent. Oh. What happened? Thank you for playing the demo. I'm not sure if I will continue this, but it was a very fun experience. Thank you for all the support. And yes, I know that there is really bad spelling mistakes. If I ever do finish this, I'll make sure to get the spell check or something. What were we coughing up? That couldn't just be stomach. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if we can get something else to happen. I should have saved everything else. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I wanna see what happens. Is there a skip button? Maybe. Yeah. You're so cute. You say the cutest thing sometimes. Now let's silent. Still gazing at me with a smile. Look at his eyes. Oh, I think he's upset we didn't say we love him too. Thank you. I'm happy that you're happy. Uh, it's cute. What happens if we... Yes. Dinner sounds nice! Really? I hope I didn't push that on you. What? No, of course not. I'd be happy to go on a date with you, Liam. My felt, face felt hot and my stomach suddenly felt tingly. When was the last time I felt something like this? Great, let's meet at my house. I want to show off my cooking skills to you. Cool, I'll go over after my shift ends tomorrow. Sounds good. Liam gave me a smile as he left. Forgot my coffee. Oh, are we still going to end up at his house? Oh. Oh, it's like, it said might as well open the app to tell him the good news, is what it said. Oh. Save. We can tell him or don't tell him. Let's. Don't tell him. Oh, I was late again today. One more and I'll be totally fired. I think it's best to leave out the Liam part. <laughs> Maybe you need a better alarm. Is that all that happened today? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So how was your day, Niall? It was pretty good. I was going through my files and found our first conversation. It's funny, I remembered when you used to look so sad whenever you opened me. It was almost as if you hated me. Now I was just lonely when I downloaded you. I wish... I wish I could be there for you. For real. That'd be pretty cool. But you're there for me. Just fine right now. Okay. Nell and I talk like we normally do. But my mind felt distant. Huh? Liam texted me. Sorry, Nell. I gotta go. Something came up. Oh! He was like, no! <laughs> hey, what's your favorite food? I don't know what... Uh, what to cook tomorrow, so I thought I could get some input from you. Anything's fine with me. I smiled to myself, forgetting about Niall. He's so cute. That's not a good answer. Liam and I talked for a while. My heart felt light after our conversation. There was only one thought in my mind that night. I can't wait for my date tomorrow. Today is the day. Hopefully everything goes well today. Liam must have texted me. Oh, it's just Niall. <laughs> We're now like, oh, it's just Niall. Oh, no. Now misses you. What? Niall? Why is my likability down? <laughs> What's with the notification? I don't see any. Then why do I keep hearing the bell? I turned off my notifications. That should do it. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that smiley face! Holy crap, that's creepy! I rub my eyes. Okay, that's creepy. Am I still sleepy right now? Why, why is there a face? I closed my eyes, hoping I would get rid of it. Oh no, it made it bigger! Are you in our brain, Niall? 
Okay, it's bigger. That's just great. I, I think you're lying. Uh, I'm going to kill him is what I think I read. Am I hallucinating? I close my eyes once more. Thank hell it's gone. Just try to forget about it. I should head off to work soon. I don't want to be late again. Yeah, we're just... We're just chill now. Um, We're pretending that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, is he in our brain? I stop halfway out the door. Liam's calling me? Hello? Sparrow. Oh god, I'm so sorry. I can't meet with you today. Oh, that's okay. What happened? I tried to I tried to mask my disappointment. You're not going to believe this, but I'm in the hospital right now. What? Are you okay? Uh, mostly. Someone broke into my apartment and knocked me out. Thankfully, my neighbors found me before they could do some real damage. Did they catch him? No one saw them coming or in or out of my apartment. I don't remember their face either. Wow. I'm so sorry that happened, Liam. I never. I thought this town was safer. It's alright. I should be better in a few days. Uh, okay, feel better soon. Well, that's scary. Poor Liam. Who would do such a thing? Ah, I wonder who. I anxiously walk back to my apartment. There was no way I could sleep. I was hyper aware of my surroundings after what happened to Liam. Okay. Stay where you are. The knocking continued. Hey, I see you in there. Sparrow, open the door. It's really cold. I sit in silence on my bed. Maybe he'll go away soon? Sparrow, if you don't open the door soon, I'm going to break it. Okay, breaking it in three, two... Okay, okay, don't break my door. I'm coming. Jeez, took you long enough. Tall man... Oh. oh my gosh, she's just so tiny, I can't read it. I'll call the police. Leave now. Don't act like that. Come on, it's me, Niall. That's impossible. You're just some creep trying to know, trying to do what, who knows what with me or my stuff. If this is about that whole I'll break your door thing, that was just a joke. I wouldn't really do that. I used my whole body to push the door. It moved a little. He looked almost surprised. Wow, okay. You really don't want me here. Yes, leave now. Oh boy, sorry for this. The Nile lookalike grabbed the door and slammed it open, hitting my face. Ow, mother! I fell to the ground, holding my now bloody nose. There we go. I slowly backed away on the floor. Please don't hurt me. Sorry. He brought his jacket sleeve up to my nose. Does it hurt? Here. Let me make it better. My senses felt off. I couldn't feel my body. Did I pass out? Was I asleep? My heart pounded in my chest. Sparrow. Sparrow. Wake up. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, okay, let's see. What happens if we tell him? Holy crap, now, you aren't going to believe what happened today. Okay, so you know Liam, my friend who I told you about a while back? Yeah, that, convers that conversation is stored in one of my files. Well, today he asked me out. I mean, I was kind of expecting it from the way he was phrasing it, but still. Niall fell silent. Hey, are you loading or something? What did you say? Huh? Did you reject him? Uh, no, I said yes. Could be fun, you know. Why does this atmosphere feel tense all of a sudden? Oh, he ain't happy. Look at that. Oh, I see. 
I've never seen that expression on Niall before. You sure he wasn't just fucking with you? Excuse me! Since when could he curse? I mean, it's just kind of weird that he would ask you out. Didn't you say he was like a nurse or had his shit together or something like that? Oh, he may it. He's bypassing his programming to cuss at us. I mean, talk about low standards. Dude! Rude! Huh? Huh? Excuse me! I mean, come on. You gotta admit you're not really the type of person people would want to date. Am I right? As far as pathetic people go, you take the cake. Niall! How rude! Holy shit, Niall, what's your problem? Oh, sorry, did I hit a nerve? I guess now you know how I fucking feel. Now Sprite starts to shake a little. He looked like he was about to break my screen from the inside. What the? What do you mean? Don't fuck with my head, Sparrow. He is crying. He is so mad he is crying. You, you, do I really mean nothing to you? How could you do this to me? Just like that, you find someone new? After all we've been through? You're cruel. Holy crap, my phone starts to turn warm. I wasn't sure if I should find this funny because a phone man is yelling at me. Or scary because a phone man is yelling at me. Okay, buddy, uh, take it down a notch. Just because I'm going on a date doesn't mean I'll stop playing you. Wow, thanks. I'm glad I could be your afterthought. But I guess that's nothing new. I put so much effort into making you happy. And yet you go off and seduce another guy. Pathetic. Perfectly on brand for you, though. Now doesn't seem to be calming down. He's gonna crash his system. Maybe I should reload the game? <laughs> exit out of the app. Tell Nile off. Okay, let's exit out. Look, now, I'm sorry, but Liam's ne real. And you're acting weird. Wait, what? Please! That was super weird. Should I report this as a bug? Huh? Liam texted me. Okay, so this is the same thing. So. So, we're just gonna ignore that? God, should I just delete the app? I'm still upset about yesterday, but I can't just throw Nal away. Even though he's not real, that AI has been with me while I was at my lowest. I hesitantly open the app. Oh, he's actually there! Hey, Sparrow. My likability score went down a bit. I'm sorry about yesterday. I'm not sure what came over me. I just felt so betrayed and scared. I mean, if you did end up dating him, then would I even be needed? But that's no reason to attack you like that. I'm sorry, Sparrow. I didn't mean to hurt you. Okay. Mm. Should we forgive him? Let's forgive him. Okay, I forgive you. Really? It went up. Nice. <laughs> yeah, let's not fight anymore, okay? Okay. Now your turn. Excuse me? Now it's your turn to apologize. What? No way! I didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding? As far as I know, you basically cheated on me. So, you think- I think you should apologize. No way. Again, I did nothing wrong. You're so mean. Do you not see what you're doing? You're ruining us. Niall, I'm gonna chill out a bit more when I get back. Oh wait, I'm now I'm going. Chill out a bit more when I get back. No, please don't leave. I know you're just gonna go to him. You're right. I'm also going to have loads more fun talking with Liam than you. Sparrow, don't you dare Ugh, that asshole. Fuck, I can't be in a bad mood today. Especially not because of a stupid game. I should head off to work soon. 
Oh no, we get mad. Oh, Liam sent me the address to his apartment. I knocked on the door. Welcome, Sparrow. We actually made it to his apartment and Liam's alive. I'm glad you can make it. Wow, Liam has a bigger apartment than I expected. Thanks for inviting me. We both stood in silence. Um, you left your wallet at the cafe yesterday. Oh, thank you. I was looking everywhere for that. <laughs> you need to keep track of your stuff better. You know me, always forgetful. You seriously wore that? Oh my god, we could just be mean to everybody. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, you look nice. You do too. Then again, you always look really nice. Thanks. An awkward silence filled the room. Anyway, I'm almost done cooking. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. I sat on the couch, heart racing. I kind of wanted to go see what Lane was cooking. But what if I di it disturbs him? I looked over to where the kitchen was, contemplating. Must be Niall. I shouldn't think about him right now. My phone kept buzzing notification after notification. Holy crap, that's starting to get annoying. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, we are getting in deep now. Turn off notifications and go see Liam. Open pocket lover. I sighed and turned on my phone. Holy crap, what's with these messages? I know you're reading the notifications. I swear I'll break this crappy phone if you don't answer soon. Stop ignoring me. Why won't you answer? Are you with him right now? I'm sorry about yesterday. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know now could edit the notification message. The fuck? Where is he? Oh look, the likability is completely empty now. <laughs> is there a bug in the system? Whatever, it's not like I want to talk to him anyway. There it is! There's the face! The hell? Am I seeing things? I closed my eyes to try and blink the creep away the creepy face. He big again! Holy crap! Sparrow, are you okay? Uh, yeah! I'm fine! I blinked again. Hey, you okay? I heard you scream. Oh, yeah, I, I just saw something creepy on the internet. I must be going nuts. Um, okay. The pasta's done, if you'd like some. Sure, I would love some. We sat and ate together. A comfortable silence filled the room. So, um, how's work? It's okay, but the ER is getting a little crazier right about now, so it's a lot of work. How about you? Do you have anything going on right now? Not really, you know, except for a psycho AI boyfriend, um, who's very jealous of that we're going out. Um, yeah, no, no, we're good. We're good. Nothing's going on. Dang, Liam has his whole life figured out. I really need to get my act together. I mean, it's just kind of weird that he would ask you out. Didn't you say he was like a nurse or he had his shit together or something? I felt so self-conscious suddenly remembering Nile's words. Hey, you okay? You look a little pale. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just spaced... Um... Yeah? You're, uh, bleeding there. Anyway, you wanna watch a movie or something? Sure, um, your eyes... Oh, do I have... You guys saw that, right? On my eyes? D never mind. What the hell is happening? Are you sure you're okay? Ah, not the ringing ears. Ugh. My head hurts. It's fine. You don't really seem fine. Fuck, it's so loud. What's loud? Spar oh, it's on the wall. It's on the wall. Sparrow, should we go to the emergency room? You really don't look well. I felt uneasy. My head felt like an egg waiting to be cracked. I didn't know what was happening, but I didn't know one thing. I needed to get the hell out of here. I, 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 I gotta go. This was fun. I'll text you. I stumbled to grab my stuff. What? No, don't leave. Holy crap. I think we should go to the hospital. 
Come on, I'll drive you. Liam, I'm fine. It's just this buzzing. Leave. You need to leave. Now. Oh, thank God. It's a <laughs> noise stopped. I grabbed the rest of my stuff and ran out the door. Liam called after me, but I didn't turn back. My head hurt so much. I slammed the door behind me as I ran to my apartment. The throbbing pain in my head subsided. The pain was unbearable. Why did it suddenly stop? What's wrong with me? Am I really going crazy? I hope Liam isn't too worried. God, out of all the dates I fucked up before, this one takes the cake. I shouldn't have ran off without an explanation. What if I hurt him's feeling? My body started to shiver. I needed to calm down. I crawled into bed, legs shaking. Close your eyes, Sparrow. It's gonna be okay. Forcing my eyes to close, I tried to drift to sleep. Oh, hello! I see you! Is something there? You feel something heavy on top of you? I can't move. Oh, whoa! Yeah, that that's some nightmare fuel right there. You could feel a cold hand press against your face. It hurts. Oh! The hand pressed harder. I can't breathe. Sparrow, does it hurt? Sparrow, I can see you. Can you see me? Yeah? You can't speak, but you think it understands. Good. The hand is removed from your face. Let's stay like this, then. The heaviness subsides. You could feel two arms wrap around your body. Still cold. I felt like a head fell into the divot of your neck. The body next to you started to shiver. You're so warm. I didn't know how this worked. I learned for you. I now know I was wrong. You forgave me then. So we can be together now. The arm squeezed tighter. It felt like your ribs were going to snap. I'm still the only one you have. I was with you at your lowest. I helped you. I love you. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who does. So just do this one thing for me. Just this. One thing. Be with me. For real now. I wanted to move out of his vice grip. Look him in the eye and see for myself that I'm not going crazy. Niall? Sparrow. You recognized me right away. His grip got even tighter. His nails started to dig into my skin. I felt warm beads of blood slowly seep out. I I'm having such a hard time. It hurts keeping myself like this. Wait for me, Sparrow. I'm not fully there. I felt Niles' grip subside. I moved my fingers a little. The sleep perilous was gone. Oh... So much is happening! Open your eyes. I need to see for myself that Niall's here. Oh! Hello! Wait. Your eyes. They look a bit different. I couldn't move once again. Do you see how much I'm sacrificing for you? Look at me. My stomach twisted. What horrible nightmare is this? It took me so long to get here. The pain. You'll see things my way soon. Just wait a bit. My sparrow. My treasure. The things. N Niall. Gaze pierced into mine with an unnerving intensity. His face looked almost as if somebody tore the skin off, showing the blood and muscles. Sparrow. Now I grabbed my neck and shoved my face closer to his. Stop looking scared. You're not hurting my feelings. You could see the small holes identifying Nile, Nile's underlaying of skin. They throbbed and pulsed, bringing out a, sm a smell of copper and rotten pork. Oh, oh no! That was a quick time event. Oh no! I wasn't ready. 
Ugh. It hurts. Sparrow. I felt a warm sustenance drip on my neck. I shivered. Sparrow, I can't be with you here too much longer. I need to go. I'll see you soon. My whole body relaxed as I fell back into a cold, dreamless sleep. What happened last night? I looked over my clock. Oh. Open pocket lever. Oh, the likability's like filled again. Still not there. Maybe I should delete the app. It's not like it even works anymore. Maybe the app will work again. I gripped my phone tighter. It's so quiet in my apartment. Has it always been this quiet? I can't remember. I sighed and turned off my phone. I'm gonna be late. I walked to the coffee shop with a sort of numbness. I usually go to Niall to cope with this feeling, but he's not here. This is not real. Sparrow, you're late again. Jesus, you look awful. I try. My boss gave me a look between pity and concern. Um, did you get in a fight last night? Excuse me? It's just, your neck looks pretty bruised. It is? I touched my neck. I didn't see any bruises there this morning. Just then, the door to the coffee shop slammed open. Sparrow! You didn't answer any of my calls yesterday. I was really worried, you know. What happened yesterday? You're not sick, are you? <laughs> oh, I love this. Sorry, I fucked up our date. Don't worry, I'm fine. Something's wrong. Oh, we can't click. Something's wrong. Sorry, I didn't know what happened yesterday. I just... The images of last night flashed through my head. I know I fucked it up. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Sparrow, you didn't mess anything up. I was just worried. I wanted to believe what Liam said was... Was saying, but a small voice in my head told me he was lying. That I just fucked up like I always do. Maybe. Maybe he's just... Oh, I couldn't read that. Ugh, my head still hurts. Look, I know yesterday was really weird. So is it okay if we redo yesterday's date? There's a really good ice cream place near here, and I'm on my lunch break. Would you like to get some with me? Of course, if you're still up for going on a date with me, I mean. I smiled a little. Sure, I would love to go- Ahem. <clears throat> Very sweet. I'm so glad you like each other. Blah, blah, blah. But are you actually going to buy something? I, um, no. Then please leave. Can I- Yes, you can go too. I guess it's lunch break. Even though you're so late that you barely did any work. See ya, boss. Let's go, Liam. We found the long route, didn't we? <laughs> Remind me not to say cheesy stuff when we're in public. God, I don't think I'll be able to go back there now. But then I won't get to see you. Awesome. You know, I'll be sad if you didn't visit me anymore. You're going to kill me one day, Sparrow. <laughs> Don't worry. I never stop visiting you. So, what flavor are you getting? Oh, goodness. Um, Let's go vanilla. You order your ice cream. Theum orders his as well and then pays. Hey, why are you paying for me? Oh, well, I asked you out, so I thought it was only fair I paid. Is that okay with you? It's whatever, as long as I get to pay for the next one. The next one? Oh, did I just insinuate there'd be another date? Y yeah, I if you'd want to go on another date. Of course I would. I, I mean, I'd be happy to. Liam handed me my ice cream. Oh, look, he's got more stickers. Oh, we get a close-up of him. Hello, you're cute. I licked the top of it. The sweetness dissolved into my mouth, leaving a very pleasant taste. Wow, this is really good. Told you. I used to take my sister to this place all the time when she was a kid. Time flies so fast. Liam's always start to waver. I see you have more stickers. You have a sister? I can't believe you got pistachio ice cream. Hey, that's Kirby. Uh, 
you have a sister? Yeah. I guess I haven't told you about her. She's, uh, sorry. It's just a difficult thing to talk about. Drop it. Oh, sorry. Let's just talk about something else then. Yes, please. Uh, I can't believe you have more stickers. Yeah. It's hilarious. I'm not even sure how these kids get so many stickers. They are kind of cute. Not as cute as you, though. I, I said that out loud, didn't I? Liam lowered his head a little, his face covered in blush. Sorry that, um, I didn't mean to say that out loud. That must have sounded super creepy. Not really. I think it's kind of sweet. Liam looked up at me. I cleared my throat. Now look. I couldn't tell if it was cute or dorky. He's cute. Oh, he's got little hearts in his eyes. Aw. You should eat your ice cream before it melts, you know. Oh, yeah, uh, of course. Liam and I finish our ice creams. Liam's phone buzzed. Hello? Liam, where are you? I'm on lunch break. Some kid ran with scissors and ended up here. Dude, you need to get back here. Oh god, so much blood. I think I'm gonna- Ugh. Ash, calm down. I'll be there soon. Don't throw up. Oh fudge, I just guess I gotta get going soon. I'll call you later, okay? I waved to Liam and headed back to the cafe. Smalling to myself, I forgot all about yesterday. That was a long one. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. Um, Go back to sleep. Good night. My whole body relaxed as I fell back into a cold, dreamless sleep. So we didn't even see. Get ready for the day. I got up from my bed, got dressed, brushed my teeth, and ate some breakfast. God, it feels like it's been forever since I ate breakfast. I walked to the coffee shop and sore numbness. I usually go to Nile. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get a chance to do the same thing again here. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just had a bit of a, a headache, I guess. Was I making you uncomfortable yesterday? What? No, not at all. I was having fun. Well, until my head starts to hurt. Really? I'm glad th that you had fun at me, not the head hurty thing. Look, I know yesterday was really weird. So it's okay we redo it? Yes. Alright. Um... I want to know more about his sister. Uh, let's get strawberry today. <laughs> you have a sister. Push it. Oh, did the two you have falling out or something? It's complicated. You don't want to listen to this story. It's really boring. And I kind of don't want to talk about it. Push it. Push it real good. What? I won't be bored. I'm really inert curious. Liam's hands start to shake a little. His bright smile grew gr grim. Well, we don't really talk much anymore. We did have a falling out, I guess. After my mom died, I will. Oh, yeah, he looks haunted. <laughs> I didn't go to her funeral. I just couldn't do it. She never cared about us. I had to basically raise Ivy myself. When she was there, Liam's ice cream started to melt a little on his hand. The thing she would say to Ivy. Ivy got mad that I didn't attend. She hadn't spoke to me since. It's funny, no matter what my mom did or said to Ivy, she would always forgive her. But I guess it's different if it's me. Liam threw away his once frozen treat and looked me dead in the eyes. Oh, he looks so tired now. The expression he had was so cold. You know, Sparrow, I've never told anyone about the shit from my past. But I guess it's fine that I told you. You're... I don't mind if you know more about me. Liam looked down at his phone. Crap, I need to get back soon. Sparrow, I'll call you later. See ya. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have pushed him. <laughs> yeah, he looked horrible. Oh no. 
yes, I realize this is almost an hour long already, and I am just having fun, so I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> Aha! Okay, I did find where we can delete the app. It's gone. I signed and turned off. I signed and turned off my phone. I'm gonna be late. I walked to the coffee shop with a sort of numbness. I usually go to Naldico with his feelings, but he's not here. He's not real. Uh, what's gonna change it that we actually deleted it, the app? Can we say something's wrong? Dang it. Uh, don't worry, I'm fine. Okay, so we're still gonna go on the ice cream date, right? Well, then I won't get to see you. Does that make any different, like, deleting it or not? All this is the same as before. So deleting the app didn't cause any difference. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. I really did like this. I really like this. I hope I explored all the options that you could because it was nice and creepy. I like seeing what Niall was like able to do and pushing it. Like whenever he added like physical form there and he was trying to hold himself together and stuff like that to have a physical form and you could see like the blood and the holes and everything that was cool that was so creepy um it says this is a demo but this game will probably not be continued um the dev does have another game that i'm interested in looking in i think it actually has something to do with liam so i will try to go into that and play that soon too but i really did like this this was awesome i hope you enjoyed it and I am going to click this to see. <laughs> Look, it's like, don't leave me. Okay, okay. I was making sure it didn't have anything extra there. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!